Dunking is one of the most entertaining parts in the game of basketball and in sports in general. It seems like every few games you get that one great dunk where a player is on a fast break and pulls out something like a 360 or a double clutch reverse that gets the crowd excited. Then you also have post rising dunks which have brought us some of the most memorable NBA moments of all time. We had crazy dunks by a bunch of players like Blake Griffin, Tracy McGrady, LeBron James, obviously Michael Jordan, and many more. But back before the NBA had breakaway rims, some players would be able to break the backwards with the force of their dunks. While it causes major damage to the court, it's definitely one of the most fascinating plays in all of sports. What's going on guys, it's LQG, and today I'm back with another video. So today we're going to be running through 7 NBA players that broke the rim or the backboard. And before we get in the list, I have to shout out the commenter from yesterday's video, and that is Mr. Florida, so here he is. Now if you don't know, every day I shout out a commenter from the previous day's video, so if you want a chance to get a shout out, all you have to do is comment on this video, and I'll be picking one person for each video. Also, make sure you guys leave a like on this video, I'd really appreciate it, make sure you guys subscribe to stay tuned to catch all the new content, we're releasing daily videos, so you definitely don't want to miss out. With that being said, let's roll the intro and get into the list. Alright, bottles on me. Long as someone drank it, never dropped the ball. Fuck it, y'all think it. Making sure the young money ship is never sinking. Back to set it up. Number one, LeBron James. Now we all know LeBron is one of the greatest players of all time. He's given us countless memories and so many great plays. Between his chase down blocks and vicious dunks. We've pretty much seen it all from LeBron. Now LeBron has been highly scouted since high school where he came out as a number one pick in the 2003 NBA draft and went on to start his career with the Cleveland Cavaliers. However, it wasn't in the NBA where he broke the rim. This actually happened when he was 17 years old in high school playing with St. Vincent St. Mary. So here it is. It's just a dunk on amateur video. Him blowing a rim to smithereen. But it only lengthens the legend of LeBron James. Number 2, Shaquille O'Neal. The NBA thought they'd solve the problem of dunks destroying their equipment until Shaq entered the NBA and began playing with the Orlando Magic in 1992. We all know Shaq was a monster in the paint and one of the most dominant players of all time. And that is why Shaq has not only done it once, but he's broke the rim multiple times. So here's Shaq breaking the rims. that they are rolling in they are going to replace the entire structure because of the shack attack on the last rim he'll puts it on the floor and stops anybody down he brought the whole goal down <laughs> goodness i'm just glad he wasn't hurt that time i mean that thing came straight down I he mean, brought the whole thing down well, it broke off right on the on the fence there on the hinge there look at this Number three, Michael Jordan. When you think about it, what hasn't Michael Jordan done? When you think about it basketball wise, it's really hard to name anything the man hasn't accomplished or been able to do. In 1985, fans in Italy got an up-close view of Air Jordan. In a Nike exhibition game, Jordan went on to score 30 points, including a rim-shattering dunk. So let's take a look at Jordan breaking the rim.
The fourth person on our list is Daryl Dawkins. Daryl Dawkins is one of the most powerful dunkers of all time. Nicknamed Chocolate Thunder, the thunder part came from his thunderous dunk. It was because of Daryl Dawkins destroying the rims and the backboards, the NBA was forced to use breakaway rims. Now Daryl Dawkins has also broken the rim multiple times, so let's take a look at that. Such a sight, because glass went everywhere, and Roman Jean was under the basket, and he was trying to get out of the way. He was running, and uh, Daryl Darryl was in shock. The first thing I was thinking is, oh, man, I got to get out of here. All this glass is coming down. I was like, he don't fail me. I mean, you see all this glass just coming down. That was very dangerous. see the one guy jump over the bench like he was coming to the bench like he was a, like a monster. Like, this guy just broke the back, but I don't want to go near him. He actually wrote my own. Oh, the chocolate thunder flying, glass flying, rosine crying, babies crying, glass steel flying, cats crying, rump roasting, bun toasting, thank you, man, man, I am Jay. Next on our list at number five is Kevin Love. Now, this one is probably surprising to many, including me as we've all been accustomed to seeing Kevin Love become a spot-up shooter in Cleveland. Although we had a post game was a great rebounder in Minnesota, his dunk, like LeBron's, actually came in high school. So let's take a look at Kevin Love breaking the rim. So here I see Landon Ainge is defending the guard. He's having a tough time handling the ball. So I creep up, steal the ball, go up for the dunk, and boom, there it is, shattered glass. What was going through your mind? Man. I don't even know. I, I kind of broke the glass and kind of was a little bit stunned. But, you know, after that, I just kind of stood there and I was just like, oh my God, I just broke the glass. This is always something I've always wanted to do. And, you know, it was just really crazy to me. It was kind of, you know, kind of a shock at first. But afterwards, it just kind of felt great that I put that flush down and, you know, broke the backboard, shattered the glass. And it just felt great. And, you know, people were, you know, kind of bowing down, running up with their phones, taking pictures. So, you know, Afterwards, I just kind of, you know, took a bow to the crowd and then walked off and said, you know, game over. And we got out of there, signed a few autographs, and went back home. Number six, Jerome Lane. Jerome Lane was drafted by the Denver Nuggets with a 23rd overall pick in the 1988 draft. You've probably never heard of him because his career was really subpar with him only averaging 5.3 points and 5.8 rebounds throughout his 7 seasons in the league. With that being said, he does have one of the most famous dunks in college history. Even after 30 plus years, the dunk still looks crazy. In 1998, Sean Miller swung a pass over to Jerome Lane who wrecked the rim with a monstrous dunk. The rim just hung there as glass rained over it and this play even made the ESPN's 100 greatest sports highlights. So let's take a look at it. Scores ahead. Lane's on the other wing. He finds oh! 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 Yeah! Send it in, Jerome! Yeah! Send it in, Jerome! Oh! He joins Daryl Dawkins, Lucius Jackson, yeah. amongst others. Number 7, Chris Morris. Now, Chris Morris was drafted by the Nets with the 4th overall pick in the 1988 draft. He went on to average 11 points in 7 seasons in the NBA, but his highlight moment came against the Chicago Bulls. On a fast break, Michael Jordan dunked on him and that provoked Chris Morris to retaliate the play right after that and break the rim. So here it is. Well, the Knicks start was fined $5,000 for that today. Tate George in trouble, puts up the prayer, batted out of there. Oh, nice play by B. James. Play every time I get used, to, I think I'm used to Jordan. I see that. <laughs> oh. Chris Morris was going to contest it, and Michael said, uh-uh. So the fans got their money's worth tonight. Michael got a poster play. <laughs> Watch this. Well, Petrovic gambles and loses. And what's Morris? Bulls back by 10. Pete George with the hard drive to Morris. Oh! <laughs> and that's my list guys make sure to let me know down in the comments below which one was your favorite and also make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to catch all the new content we are releasing daily videos like i said at the beginning so you definitely don't want to miss out and with that being said i'll catch you guys on the next video thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day